We know that there are various parts of Nigeria where there are no health practitioners at all. And so we need to place those ones. And the way we are going about it is to derive the midwives to be trained from specific locations. Train them and bring them back there. So we are not going to have a situation where people will drift away. And then we have a drain from the place. That's the first. The second one is we have resources that will assist them to be able to do their work very well. For the first two, three years, federal government will do that with the states so that then we'll sign uh, a memorandum of understanding with the states so it will be sustainable. Now, that's that. Now, we also are deploying things like blood banks across Nigeria mm -hmm. because maternal mortality, most of the women die from infection or hemorrhage. So if you have a, a blood banking system in a particular center, we are looking at trying to now decentralize those blood banking systems. So either I say one in Yola, we would then make sure that every local government in Adamawa State has a blood bank or a blood holding system so that within the hour, a woman will be able to get blood. Apart from driving the issue of getting them to access antenatal care. Because if you do antenatal care and you do deliveries, and you have blood available, you will save 80% of the lives that we are losing unnecessarily. Now, that is first. Second is that because we believe that primary health care is what to do, we're going to strengthen primary care. And we are not going to be driven by polio immunization. We're going to ensure that primary health care is strengthened so that it can deliver on all the components of primary health care. And polio immunization is just part of immunization. So routine immunization gets back into place. So all of the vaccine preventable diseases of children will now be prevented. And so the lives of our, of our children will be saved. Apart from the fact that we are strengthening our health promotion uh, uh, facilities. So we'll give information. If you recall, 30 years ago, we were telling mothers how to look after their children who have diarrhea diseases with simple oral radiation therapy. They didn't have to come to the clinic. Simple sugar and, and salt solution. You can, you can actually do a lot. And then treatment of malaria, treatment of convulsions, treatment of chest infections. You will do a lot uh, and save the lives of all these children.